so welcome back folks this is shardul gavande from ace knowledge and in this video we'll create a playlist playlist.java file where we will be fetching our youtube uh, our playlist videos from youtube in our application so this dot java file playlist uh, dot java file will be split up into four sections first is parse json using json array then fetch data using async task bind data to list view and last is passing data using intent to full screen activity okay so the very first will start with a uh, parse json using json array so this video in this video we, we will only focused on the first part which is passing json using json array json array so let's start so this is a activity so we'll create a playlist activity let's start with an empty activity with let's give it a name as playlist and create it okay so now this activity has been created and we want a, we want a list view in this uh, in its xml file as we are fetching data into list view so let's get some list view get a list view over here in its xml file first let's take a relative uh, let's take a linear layout okay and we'll take a list view oops list view over here match parent give id as android colon id equal to double quotes at the rate id let me do it again and some processing happening over there android let's not create over here let's give it over here okay id we'll give it a name as list view list let's give it as list item list underscore item okay so the design we have got a list view now let's go back to our java file and start coding over here so as it is list view and as we want our data dynamically to be dynamically loaded into our list view so for that we need to implement some methods so let's implement dot on implement dot on I think let, let let us just first create let us just first start with this uh, passing json okay we'll create uh, we'll bring the data dynamically in the third section let's first just pass the json as of now okay so let's uh, give let give let us give here declare our list view first here as list view name it as list video semicolon pass the list video over here equal to list view find view by id the next is now we have to create a uh, pass the json so we need to have json pass we our json passer is over here right so we need to pass it over here in this activity so we need to have we need to declare private json parser let's give it a name as parser we'll say video okay now let's create an array array list so before creating uh, we'll, uh, let's let's just uh, start with creating array list so here i'm creating if an array list okay so array list if i'm taking as video okay passing JSON, uh, what is it showing media store video? Let's oh, we don't want a media store video, so it is showing as Android not provide media store video. So, array list video, okay. So, we have created array list video, but 
but we have not created a class or you can say a activity of uh, named as video so we need to first create a video activity so uh, where is the activity empty activity we'll give it a name as video and here we need to implement some of our methods which are nothing but a getter and setter methods which we will require for our thumbnails or you can say our image view all those things we need to implement it over here okay so let's type it as string let's give it as video id first then we have to get uh, from video video title video title and string we have to get thumbnail also video thumbnail okay and now we need to generate methods getter and setter methods for all these three things id title and thumbnail and done with our getter now a setter okay fine and we have created a video with uh, video activity with id title and thumbnail which we will uh, adapt it over here now you can see the video uh, the error has gone okay so we have not created the activity so that is the reason it was uh, we have created error list but for which activity we have not uh, built that you know we have not created that activity so good we, ca we can learn from this now we need to pass parse this particular json so we'll say as parsing json parsing json into bracket we have pass a video url okay and in this under this we will have again a try block and some cat and try where there is try there is catch so we'll have a catch statement with exception e and we'll say that e dot print backtrace okay in the try we here in the try section we will create a json object and pass this particular uh, data of json into a json array okay so let's create a json object json object json equal to parser video which we have declared above dot get json from youtube okay this method is nothing but the method from here this is get json from youtube now you can see this method is not blur earlier it was blur as we have not used it okay so we are using it over here now it will pass we are passing that particular method and the contents from that particular method in the json object okay let's say video url then we have json array now create a json array give a name as json as j array let's give a simpler name easy to write and use new json array json dot get string okay so get string this is nothing but your json array start starting of your json array now you can see let me show you over here see json passing we have this particular video uh, url so take this url check in the browser so here you can see as items uh, json array starts from here with the name as items okay so this starting this string we are calling it over here fine now next again now we'll create a loop now we have uh, done with the de uh, declaration of array or you can say the initialization of json array now we have here many more uh, we can say your channel title playlist id we need to fetch all these things all these things are under this items json array okay so we need to create a loop so we'll use for loop say int i equal to zero 
we say less than we have array name uh, j array dot length semicolon and we'll increment our array okay and under this we'll pass uh, json objects json object we'll say oh, the first one is where is the first one we need to get the thumbnails okay so let's take the thumbnails first thumbnails json object thumbnails thumbnail okay equal to uh, we'll take the array name j array dot get json object and pass i then again json object we need now snippet which will show the date and get the channel id okay we'll go with the snippets equal to thumbnail dot get json object and we'll pass snippet over here okay and again json object we'll get now let's take the your let's take default url as an object and pass this snippet over here dot get json object and into bracket we'll say thumbnails okay then again json object we will have a url we'll pass this default url over here dot we'll say get json or get json say get json object and we'll pass in url yeah we have taken this url right okay in that we want a definition medium we'll want high definition so we'll take we'll pass high okay then json object again we'll take now uh, we want now we have done with the resources and now we have done with chat okay now we'll take a resource id which will have this particular part video id and kind so we'll take a resource id resource id equal to we'll say snippets snippets dot get json object and we'll pass resource id over here okay and now we'll take a string with value as video id because inside because uh, in this resource id we have video id and kind okay so we need to take those parameters so let's say a string video id we'll say that it will take from string video id will be from which parent uh, parent array which is resource id okay so that is the reason we'll call that resource id and we'll say as get string into bracket we'll pass video id also we want we have done with video id then we want about here as, as we, wa we want the url also uh, url for our, for our image so let's take a string string we'll say image url give a name as image url equal to will pass url dot as it was over here url dot get string and into bracket url okay With the url we need title so we'll say as title is where is title is inside uh, with the parent array snippet okay so and url image url was under default or you can say default url okay 
so it is under now title is under snippets so we have snippets dot get string and title okay so now we have done with passing of json passing of json objects okay so are we completed with the first yes we are done with the passing of json object so in the next video we'll see how to fetch our data using async task okay so stay tuned for the next video thank you very much and please do subscribe